Playing of a harp has really become a very important part of my life. There's a, a wonderful long story, but I would just like to share with some of the highlights. My dear husband, who was at hospice, um, he was in a lot of pain, and I had a wonderful surprise. Somebody brought over a harpist, and that's really dear Joyce, who started the Harp Foundation. And uh, while playing that, I could just feel his pain going, relieving him, and I was so touched by that. And I said, now, I really want this harp music to continue in his life, as long as he will be here in li in, on earth with me. And lo and behold, Joyce was, she knew who I could call. And so I had a harpist came who, she came every week at the hospice. So I had her come in my husband's room. And it was so beautiful. Once a week, it was always a big highlight. And I think the important part was, the doctor said it won't be long, just a few more days and we were very close to Christmas. And in the, somebody rapped at the door, and here was uh, Sherry, my harpist, and she said, do you still want me to come? Because they say it's only going to be a few more days. And I said, please come in. Yes, I want the harpist to play. And she said, great, because I brought the song that, I, that you requested last week. And so I was on the bed with my husband, embracing him, thinking, well, his last words to me were, I love you, barely too weak to speak. But, and she started the beautiful song, Jesu Joy of Man's Desiring, beautiful Bach music. And here it was, two days before Christmas, the song, and I was embracing him and his peaceful face, and I was holding him. I can hardly, it's difficult for me to remember how I felt at that time, but it will never be, it will never be forgotten to think that was his farewell, his breath going into God's breath as I was embracing him and saying goodbye for now. And of course, <clears throat> I then shortly after heard like his voice in my heart saying, why don't you play a harp? And I thought, well, that's interesting. I never thought of doing that because I thought, well, maybe later in heaven I'll get to join the angels. And, he's, and so I thought, I would play the harp, I can play I can, the piano and the accordion. So Sherry my, was my teacher, and in a short time, at age 75, lo and behold, she said, you're doing very well. So I then bought my own harp and just was really enjoying it very much with the being able to play it for people and they, they enjoyed it. I had uh, a very uh, serious stroke where I couldn't speak, walk, or talk. And uh, about three or four days after, thank God, I was able to uh, restore, get some of my health back because the harp, because I had started the angel song program in the hospital. So every week the harpists were playing twice a week 
And so, and Joyce brought a beautiful small harp too in my room so I could try, at least try to. And I can still remember dear Jocelyn came in saying, come on, they were playing for me practically every day with the beautiful harp that I had given to the hospital. They'd bring it up from the chapel and play. And I can still see Jocelyn say, come on, you try. I want to turn it. And I said, I'm too weak. I couldn't, it's too heavy. I wouldn't be. And he said, just try. And sure enough, I could pick out like, you've got the whole world in his hands and a few other things like that. And so then before I knew it, when it was two more weeks and my cardiologist, he said, now when you go home, the most important therapy that you must continue is to play the harp and or piano. And it'll be more important than all the other therapists. I know the music. There's something, there's about playing it yourself. When it touches back on your shoulder and you hear the wonderful vibrations, I almost feel like the healing touch of the harp is going right into my soul and in my heart. And so I'm also now able to go. I played in the patient's room and then also even before Christmas that first year, so that's only about a month and a half after, when I was playing before Christmas in the lobby at Del Webb, uh, Banner Del Webb Hospital. So it's, it does so much for me to know that this little bit can touch and help so many people. Even it's from helping my husband from starting it myself and then needing it after I was in the hospital. That was just a wonderful miracle. I call it a miracle. That's my, my cardiologist even likes to say that too. They, there, it was a cardi. See, even I thought I was going to heaven. I, my friend, I said, I'm, I'm coming to heaven. The angels are bringing me. And my husband is calling me. This was before, just at the stroke, three hours after the stroke. And um, it was so interesting. And I said to my cardiologist, that was such a most beautiful moment, peace of peace and my heart full of love. That, and then he said very carefully, I said, why didn't, I said, why didn't you let me go? I was ready to go home to heaven. And he said, I still need you, and many others still need you. And now I think maybe any help that I can do with the harp to heal, because harp is truly a healing instrument. Mm -hmm.